I'm extremely happy to be here at KTM 2022. See all the activity going on. There's such a great improvement. There's a bus, and that uh, shows that uh, tourism as well as all the activities are picking up, and it shows the resilient nature of all of us involved in Kerala tourism. So as compared to earlier years, this is quite professional, the way it has been organized and uh, the way the business is happening, the meetings are being scheduled, everything uh, speaks of professionalism. And earlier we used to be a part of KTM being a part of Kerala Tourism, but now uh, looking at all the meetings that has been lined up for kids, uh, even though we are uh, only a tourism organization that is being in tourism education, even for us we stand to benefit by being part of KTM 2022. This is the initiatives of kids in terms of preparation. See, earlier we were concentrating on our MBA, BBA, BCom, which are the regular courses. But then post COVID, what we have felt is that people want to get an employment immediately. They do not want to wait for a long period of time. So we have started offering various diploma courses whereby within the six months they they can get an employment. We are doing also doing the hand holding as uh, connecting them to the the technical consultant as well as the, the industry partners because uh, the conversion to a job should happen at, at the earliest. That is the core thing that has happened post-COVID scenario. Subcenters and yeah, that's why we have a kids in the Mupatana, we have a kids in the founded in 1988. We have selected a subcenters. We have a model of the 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 model Kids and tourism benefit courses Yeah, it is all going on a joint venture model whereby we are taking in the consultants as well as the industry partners to come in. So that could be interview chances they should be getting. And we are also going into a major area which is the which is for a tie-up with digital university. Whereby we are going to, uh, yeah, technology, There's a, there will be a collaboration with the DUK so that we can offer tourism courses tied up with digital technology because we have to use artificial intelligence or digital uh, informatics or digital analytics to know what exactly are the core points where each of us who are in the tourism industry should be concentrating. So for that we are going to offer uh, various courses. Across the board we are going to tie up in various areas with digital university and all of you also will be in because all of you are veterans in the industry and we will be taking inputs from all of you and we'll be finalizing the courses and offering it because that is the future digital transformation has to happen in tourism also just before the public Adventure yes. What is the so the adventure tourism program, uh, we have lined up a few uh, of the courses, but uh, what we have found is the floods and the COVID it affected us. But now adventure tourism is one of the most uh, important uh, focus points for Kerala tourism, and we are fine tuning the courses to be offered in that area also. We are trying to make it small but uh, very intense, so that people who come in again will have to. Uh, guide them so that they get the jobs also yeah <clears throat> for that also we are tied up with muddy boots and they are our technical consultants and then we are going to offer courses in that area also Courses. Yeah, tourist guides courses we have offered along with uh, uh, Kerala Tourism because Department of Tourism has to, uh, for yeah, for the regional and the local guides and also Musiris guides and we are offering refresher training courses for them also. If numbers are further required, we shall be providing such uh, uh, specific courses for specific uh, areas also because like Musiris, the, the, their Musiris guides are trained separately and regional local level guides, it was uh, done as a totally different exercise because earlier it was all concentrated from Kochi or from Trivandrum but we have just given it to various local areas whereby we have local guides, adequate numbers and refresher trainings are also going on. Do you have any plans for the future for the retraining re and rejuvenating the industry professionals, existing industry professionals? 
yes we are planning to talk to the trade and uh, because uh, whether we whether we have to run it as a as a paid program or whether it should be in consultation with the department we have to discuss with the professionals and then take a call but adequately as correctly you said that is a point which we have to that is a real pain point we have to address it at the earliest because post covid there are various uh, factors Yes. people have been demotivated people have uh, to be uh, they have to take care of new uh, challenges and for that uh, definitely refresh and retraining programs are required shall be working on that too thank you thank you so much